Leave the bullshit in the past, we never run behind it. I'm too busy spreading the truth, I feel like Cousin Johnny. Never know who's spreading hate, they always done it quietly. Struggle taught me to spread my wings like I was born a pilot. What we talking about, eat this facts and conspiracies. Facts. Just relax, I'ma give you these Views from my point of view I know what you going through Trust me, I done done it too We know you uncomfortable This my story, cousin Johnny Let me run it through This my story, cousin Johnny Let me run it through We tired of they little shows We need something new This my story, cousin Johnny Let me run it through Y'all tuned in with the one and only Let's Talk With Cousin Johnny. Today's topic we're going to talk about is togetherness. I want y'all to let that word marinate and set in for a little bit. In today's time, we all know how difficult it could be when it comes to the word togetherness, or just togetherness all, all in general, really. I think Ricky Bobby said it best, if you're not first, then you're last. And I think that relates to sports best, but when it comes to real life, nah, we can't have that same approach, the same attitude. I know many of y'all, you can sit back and just kind of think about a bunch of different things when it comes to togetherness, man. Uh, you got people that think that, hey, I can't eat at this restaurant. Hey, we can't eat over there. We too good to go here. We too good to go there. At the end of the day, it all relates back to togetherness. And we may not even think about it like that, but it does. I know in our race, uh, in general, like over the last year or two, it's been really some craziness with the shade of our colors. Like, man, we got our race beefing with our own race. Like, she's brighter than me. He too dark. He too light. Like, what, what you talking about? At the same time, we all black. Just different shades, but what they got to do with it? But it's to a point to where we really focusing in on that. Like, we ain't talking to certain people because the, the shade of their color. Like, we're not talking about the history, the personality, the smarts, none of that. We judging our relationship off individuals with the color of their skin, which is insane to me. At the end of the day, we, we can't do that, man. You don't know what kind of heart that person got, what kind of personality they got, what kind of motivation and drive they got, if you don't even allow yourself the opportunity to get the norm for them. It's so many times that we sit back and a lot of us lonely or by ourselves or single, hollering about we can't find nobody for us. Well, at the end of the day, when you go through so many individuals and you can't find nobody, we gotta stop pointing the finger and begin to look at ourselves. Is it really the people that we running into or is it us? Cause at the end of the day, if you meeting a thousand people, out of that thousand, somebody gotta be solid. But at the end of the day, the solid individual that you probably ran across you ain't give him the time of the day because he made it in fit the description of you. He may ain't have no Gucci shoes on. He may didn't have a Louis Vuitton belt. But at the end of the day, that's the stuff we judging off. You know, you can have all that stuff and be no good. That don't mean nothing. Because at the end of the day, that's what that's what's happened to a lot of y'all women. Y'all go out here looking for these men with all these designers. And, and, and he hot more high maintenance than you are. You know what I'm saying? That, that boy in the mirror more than you in the mirror. And you holler about why he don't want to go to work. He don't want to get his hands dirty. Well, you knew that when you pecked him. And I'm not saying all men like that, because at the end of the day, I, I like nice stuff. But at the same time, I ain't afraid to get my hands dirty. But a lot of women be sitting back mad at everybody for the fact that, oh, I can't find nobody. Uh, so, some men too. You know what I'm saying? This woman too high maintenance. You know, she spar. Well, you knew that when you pecked her. But at the end of the day, a lot of y'all willing to settle on things based off what people think instead of doing what you feel is best for you. At the end of the day, we gotta take more time getting to know people for them and stop putting them in a bucket. Like putting them in a separate batch, like, oh, these, this kind of people, these, these kind of people. Like, no, man, people is people. And they got bad apples in every race, but at the same time, the stuff that we looking for, we gotta begin to dig deeper than what we digging on. Like, don't get me wrong, like I know people that seriously done said, I'm not gonna give my opportunity to date because he pulled up in an old car. A vehicle ain't got nothing to do with a man work ethic. If you got a man that only care about cars, then at the end of the day, them cars all night, but they, they cost. So you want somebody with a good mind frame that's gonna put you and the family in a better situation, make educated and smart risk and moves. Ain't no, and it don't make no good to work hard and you got $4,000 in car notes, but if that man willing to invest in some property or some things that's gonna make y'all money in the long run, then that's the kind of stuff you need to be looking for. 
but we just got to change our mindset as a whole. You know what I'm saying? If, if we look around, the signs are all in front of us. They doing it with neighborhoods. They doing it with cities. They doing it with states. They doing it with everything. You know what I'm saying? If you look up Louisiana, probably bottom rank in every metric possible. And so many people look down upon Louisiana people. But if we think about it, all our talented athletes come from the, the boot. All our actors come from the boot. A lot of the top rappers come from the boot. So at the end of the day, don't be a product of what people say that you are just because you lived there. That ain't got nothing to do with it. Like to me, Louisiana got more opportunity in a lot of states because of the fact that so many, if you go to, let's say you cut hair, you go to Texas, you competing with so many people that cut hair and that's established. So if you ain't got no clientele, you ain't gonna make it there. But in Louisiana, it's so much opportunity for so many different businesses. We just gotta do a better, uh, better job sticking together and just game planning and coming up with a solution to fix the state. And it ain't gonna happen overnight and some people ain't gonna be on board with it, but it is what it is. But that's what I'm saying when I say the word togetherness. It comes to a point that what we gotta stick together. Even subdivisions. You got people that say, oh, he live over there. She live over there. They different kind of people. No, we people regardless of where you stay. It don't matter the price of your house. They ain't got to do nothing with the person. Certain people just was dealt different cause of a bad set of hands than some other people were. Or they had to get it out the mud. But at the end of the day, they don't make them no less of people. But we got to get to the point to where we stop listening to that. You know what I'm saying? You, you, <laughs> I didn't hear people say, I'm, I'm not going over there. That's a bad set of people because they live over there. <laughs> what? <laughs> How? Because of the perception? Because of what you see? I don't mean the people are bad. They're just doing what they got to do. Trust me, if they had a choice or opportunity to truly better their situation, I don't know many people that say, hey, I want to better my situation that don't try to better it. And it just take people longer than others. And I'm not going to sit here and make excuses. There are people that, that's content with where they at. And I ain't knocking that either. You know, it's different boats for, for different people. And at the end of the day, if they like it, I love it. But at the same time, what I'm saying is we got to stop pointing the finger and, and, and splitting up everything. Everything split. Different parts of the city split. They said that's the bad side. You know, the world do a bad job. They, they, they split it up automatically. It's east, west, north, south. Like, come on, man. We people and we people. We got to stick together. And that's all I'm saying, man. I'm, I'm challenging everybody to just get to a point to where you wake up in the morning and you say, what can I do to bring people closer? If you see somebody that's struggling and need a lending hand, why not be the individual to, to, to give a lending hand and say, hey, I see you made these mistakes. I did that when I was younger. Let's try to do it this way. Hey, you need to try to do it this. I done had people truly, and they ain't gonna call no name, so I was trying to do different things and I called and asked them. And I was like, hey man, I need a little assistance on this. And they was like, man, I don't, I don't know how to do that. But you do the same thing I do, so what you mean you don't know how to do that? Like, it's enough money out here for everybody. We gotta stop thinking that if I teach somebody a skill that I know, at the end of the day, they may surpass me or they may get more money than I get. Quit doing that. I had somebody recently reach out to me and say, hey man, I'm interested in doing a podcast. Like, what do I need to get it started? Man, I gave them the breakdown from the startup to the equipment that they need, to the steps that they needed to take, like all that, because at the end of the day, I'm not hating on nobody, man. If they get it, they get it. And if I could help somebody, then I'm going to do that, because at the end of the day, that's just the kind of person I am. Like, I'm not going to hold nobody down. I'm not here to see me surpass everybody. If, if, if we can't all win as people, then what's the use of even doing it? I'm not trying to be in the upper echelon by myself and my people can't come. It don't make sense. But you got a lot of people live like that. They'll rather have it like that. They'll rather have that, that, that break in togetherness. They'll, they'll rather just have, is me. As long as I got me, I'm good. Now, that's a bad attitude to have. Because at the end of the day, who always say we're going to be at the top? What happened when you need at least a, a lending hand or somebody to assist you when you down? And everybody had the same main mentality. Then at that point, you're going to be in the same boat as everybody else. Like, it, it's fun when you're at the top. But sometimes, man, that, that ride down is, poo. And people will let you know, like, hey, when you was up, you was up. You ain't look out for nobody else, but now you down. Now nah, we don't know you. And you can't get mad at it. You ain't got no choice but to respect it because you saying that you had the same mind frame and mentality when it came to assisting other people. So at the end of the day, we got to change, man. 
We got to understand that the only way we gonna ever come up, especially as a race of people, is to stick together. We the only race that will not stick together. We will not assist our people. We will not lend out their helping hand. We will not watch them or help them come up. And that's crazy to me. And we sit there and we ask people like, why our race continue to be in the boat that we in? Why we continue to not come up? Why we continue to struggle? Well, I'm gonna ask everybody that's watching this, ask yourself a question. What are you doing to help? At the end of the day, I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm doing everything to help because I got things I need to work on and assist with the, the efforts as well. But what are we as people doing to better us as overall individuals? Like, we got to start waiting for people to save us. We 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 didn't seen that that ain't going to happen. They, they ain't throwing no life wraps to us. So at that point, if they ain't throwing them, we got to come together and throw them ourselves. So it's going to take us to get our mind right and get motivated to the cause and do whatever we got to do and come together. Us as people is very knowledgeable and we know so much stuff, but at the same time, we ain't spreading that knowledge. I know people that know a lot, but they ain't spreading the knowledge. All I hear is what I hear in the background on police sirens. Every day, all day, like, come on, man, let's help one another. Let's get out there and challenge one another to be better people every day. Every day you wake up, strive to be a better person. Try to take somebody underneath your wing and show them something. Somebody once told me that assume that they know nothing. That's the best mentality to have. Assume that they don't know. Because we expect things out of people that may not know what we want. Or may not even know how to do it. So if you're going to expect somebody, individual, show them how to get there. Like what have you done to uh, educate them? What have you done to give them resources and tools to be successful? At that point, when you give them that and they still ain't getting it done, and at that point, you did your job. And you can sleep good at night knowing I did whatever I can to help this individual. But at the same time, us as people, we want to say they just got to get up and make it happen. Some people don't know how to make it happen, so we need some tools to show them how to make it happen. We need some tools to educate them on how to get it done. So I challenge each and every one of us, what are you doing to assist with the efforts? Like, what can we do better? as people to bring one another together and finally end this issue that we continue to have decade after decade, century after century. Like, we got to fix it. So at that point, I'm going to challenge everybody. When you watch this, think to yourself, what can I do to help? What can I do to bring togetherness together? Like, what can I do to pull my race together? Let that ponder. Think on that. But for the next episode, man, y'all tune in. You with the one and only, man. Let's get it. Turn it off, Keto. Get on. That's my story, cousin Johnny, let me run it through. It's real. Yeah. Lead the bullshit in the past, we never run behind it. I'm too busy spreading the truth, I feel like cousin Johnny. Never know who's spreading hate, they always done it quietly. Struggle taught me to spread.